Okay, so what we're gonna make here is a race game. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just get rid of that cat because he's not gonna be racing around. I am gonna upload a car. Doop. That car, one, it's got a background. You can't really see it right now. I'm gonna, um, gonna go to the backdrops and just uh, make them greenish. There we go. And let's fill, there's my no color. There we go, there's no color. There we go, got rid of the excess there. And I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just gonna change the size down to uh, maybe 25%. Sure. Um, there we are. And I'm also going to do this. I'm going to convert to vector. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to rotate this so that it's pointing exactly as close as I can left, right. All right. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is always facing towards the, the cursor. Let's go forever. Point towards mouse pointer. So there he is, pointing towards the mouse pointer. That's what it should be doing, should be doing. All right, and now I need to write struck. Uh, and again, I'm going to upload. And yeah, I got the color pretty close. Uh, and let's change the, the size of this thing. You say, uh, let's go 1,000. And that's just not doing anything. It, there, it goes up a certain amount. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go and uh, erase off the gray checkered there. Ugh, I'm doing a great job of it, but thankfully, Backdrop is a similar color. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do fill. I'm going to take that color. Let's go over to our backdrop. Fill out that color. It looks a little bit nicer. Go and see if I can't get a couple of those little dots in there. Okay, there we are. So there's a the track. Uh, a few things, one, it's, um, it is not nearly big enough. And two, uh, I can't see my car. So here's one thing I could do. I could go, I'm gonna do all these under a green flag chart. And go to not the front layer, but to the back layer. Doop. There it is, and check the size of that. I'm never gonna be able to do that. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. There we are. Uh, I might need to make that a little bit smaller. 
Yeah, that looks about right. Actually, it's going to be a little bit different. So I'll go back to 25. All right. Now to make this bigger, here's what I'm going to do. It is a trick. I'm going to go in here to the costumes and I'm going to make a new costume that I'm going to draw. In this costume, I'm going to put a dot. Just one dot. Then I am going to go to switch to costume one, the one that I just drew, costume one. And then I'm going to set the size larger. And then I'm going to switch the costume to the racetrack, which is down low. Let's, let's fix that though. Track. Dot. It dot. And let's try now. Oh, that's way too big. Let's go 400. Sure. And now let's try to put it so that we start there. Go to this position. No. Something about this is not giving me the right position. It's fine. I can just look at it right here. There we go. And this is going to need to change position when we start. Win green flag checked. Let's move you over here. Start you on the line. It's going to give you negative. Actually, let's do this. So well, let's center that so it says start your engines. Well, centered. Let's fix the. Uh, Let's fix this guy's position. Okay. And then let's fix this guy's position. So let's see what happens if we go zero, zero. That actually looks pretty good. See if we can change. Ah, no, that's fine. One green flag check, go to zero, zero. Now we need to get some motion in. So we go over here to control. We do forever um, move. See what happens when we do that. Whoa, and it goes like this. But that's not really what a race game looks like, is it? Stop that. What a race game looks like is this. Negative 10. Oop. Kind of looks like that, except stop this. It's got to move negative 10 from the direction that the, uh, that the car is going. That's going to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, here's how it's going to work. Instead of just move, we're going to have to do change in X, change in Y. And we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to need to be able to do this. Sensing mouse X, mouse Y. Try that now. Oh, that, uh, that went pretty fast. We're going to have to slow that down or else our race game is not going to work very well. 
we're going to have to put in an operation. We're going to have to put in times. Oh, come on. Go sit in there. Let's try point 0.1. Might have to do point 0.01. We'll see. And now it's like the car is in reverse. Because here's the thing. When the track moves this way, it feels like you are going, uh, when the track moves to the left, it feels like you are going to the right. So what it needs to do is have a negative in there. Let's put a win green flag check in here now. Let's try it. Now my car follows the mouse. We wow, now I'm going off the edges. Ah. Okay, so I have a partial race car game here. Now this concept can be used for several different things. One, you can have a side scroller where as you move to the uh, right of the screen, it's really the backdrop moving to the left. And it's really not the backdrop, it's a sprite because you can't move the backdrop. If uh, you remember the maze game in the example final games that I showed, that's one thing that it did. And two, if you um, remember, in actual Mario games, Mario doesn't actually move that much. He goes up and down vertically, but he pretty much stays at the center of the screen. It, uh, it just goes, the screen moves behind him from left to right or from right to left, as the case may be. Now, one more thing that I'm gonna to need to add. I'm gonna to need to add uh, some way to die here. Stop this. Let's just reset where that is. Uh, here's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need, it's gonna go away. When green flag checked forever. Let's put in a touching, a sensing thing. If touching color, I don't want touching the sprite that's the racetrack because um, that will, let's change this name to track. There we go. Is this named car. It's always best to change the name of your sprites. Okay, so uh, if it's touching the track, that's the entire track. It's always touching the track. You're gonna have to do a color. And there's a couple colors you could do. There's this white, there's this red. I'm gonna choose the red. Then we're going to need to have something happen to it. Uh, I'm going to broadcast a message. Message game game over. Okay, come on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on, that's it. Okay. Oh, apparently, it only let me do cancel. Let's try that again. Oh, no, it, it selected it. All right. Whatever. Uh, broadcast game over. And then uh, the car. Let's do a hide. 
after it gets game over. Which means we're going to need a show when it when it appears. And um, this one here should probably hide when it receives game over. When I receive game over, hide. And I'm also going to stop the other scripts so that it uh, so that it stops moving around. Basically, it's just going to stop that. And then let's uh, make another sprite. So let's go back. Let's draw another one. Let's zoom game over. Let's do text. And do this so that you can see it. There we go. Let's go and move this over here so it lines up in the center. And uh, let's go to code. When I receive game over, I'm going to show. Let's do the, let's do a uh, effect. Let's do Let's do ghost and uh, here, let's hide this so we can actually see. There we go. Center it. We don't really need to move it again. Uh, let's hide the car while we're at it. There, game over. And actually, let's make it bigger. So let's go ten. Repeat ten. Let's clear effects. And let's do that again, but negative ten. Control for oh, not there. Okay. I want to slow that down. Let's do one and one hundred. Negative one. Maybe a little slow. Let's do 50 and 2. 2. I like that. All right. And uh, let's say I want this to start over. Uh, let's, uh, let's go and put the start over in here. Let's do when I press space. Actually, no, let's do when, when Sprite is clicked. Let's make a new Sprite. Let's draw a new Sprite. And keep with the pickle, pixel look. OK. 
here. Let's just make this larger. Put it there. And for this one, we're going to do when sprite clicked the play again. Um, we're going to broadcast message start game. And then we're going to hide this. We're also going to do this. Uh, we are going to make sure that we only see them when there's a game over. Shows on game over. Now, just broadcasting start game doesn't start the game. You have to go through here and change these. We're going to change whenever green flag checks. Oh, no, duplicate, delete. We're going to change these to when I receive game start. And same thing here. When I receive game start. Then we should really have a title screen. Can make one more. And keeping with the theme. Well, it's a little large. Let's bring it in a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. And it's uh, visible right now. I want it to be visible when green flag checked. And then when sprite clicked, I want to hide it and then also broadcast start game. Mm. I have to make it when green flag checked hide. That again. We just put that in that one, in this one, in this one. So they're all on the same page. There we go. One, two, race. Sure. Nope. Looks like something's going on with this one. And it receives game start. Do this. Let me. Something went wrong. Make sure here, costume is in fact track. Huh. Costume to dot. So 400, this, this should work. No, no, it's something is wrong here. Let me give me one second. Ah, yes, I see. Uh, I forgot to put show. I hit it, but I forgot to show it. Let's try that again. Woo. Oh, and I died. 
Here's one more thing that I want to do. I want to put a pause in here so people have a little chance to wait. Let's try that again. There we go. We've got a little bit of time. So we can go here. Play again. It still says game over. Guess what I forgot to do? Go over to game over. Win receive. Game start. Should also be hiding. Doop. There we have a game. Now, you might notice these little uh, lines on the uh, racetrack here. This was a map actually created by a student. Uh, those lines are there so that it can make sure you don't go backwards. It'll still do a, a lap counter. So you have to actually hit the, the uh, lines in the correct order or else it won't count. But uh, if this is something you would like to do, by all means, try to get those uh, to function. But for now, we've got a pretty good game here. We are on race game. All right. And let's stop this recording.